With Seagraph 2019 here, there's a lot of companies and a lot of features and a lot of tools that are being announced here and there. We just finished talking about Blender 2.8 and also Maya is coming out, you know, Houdini is coming out and Cinema 4D is not out of the equation. So the guys at Maxon has also gone ahead to make an announcement that has to do with Cinema 4D R21 and R21 is coming out with a couple of features that you would love to definitely want to work with but one of the things which I would like to talk to you guys about before we even dive right into the features has to do with the licensing so the licensing is definitely going to change and if you already know previously Cinema 4D was offered in different you know flavors like there are different forms of Cinema 4D that you could get which will include you know the Prime, the Studio and so on and so forth and each of these actually cost several amounts and I guess the studio was the most expensive at that point when it cost about 3,000 plus almost uh, close to 4,000 at the point and you know you can also go ahead and pay for maintenance if you want to have those updates that comes within the year but contrary to that Cinema 4D R21 will be offering just one single version so you're not going to get like the broadcast version the prime version the studio version all those versions or flavors and now totally chopped off all right so you're just gonna get one pack or one form of cinema 4d which is quite equivalent to the studio so i kind of think that they just merged everything together to make this particular one and it's going to be costing a little bit less so just in case you don't like subscription then this is going to be bad news for you but if you're into the whole subscription thing then of course you will find you know you'll find this really really appealing so for this if you want to get a year you definitely have to pay about let's say 60 dollars every single month for you to get the annual version or if you want to get an annual license and you know you could go with a monthly license then you know you can go all the way to $95 to own it per month this also comes with a bundle there's also one that comes with a bundle and the price goes just a little bit up compared to what you can get so now that we've gotten the whole licensing thing out of the way let's talk about the cool features that will be coming to cinema 4d r21 the very first one is caps and bevel system the cap and bevel system has been reworked there's a whole new you know there's a whole new thing happening there you guys will definitely definitely love it especially if you're into more graph if you're into working with bevels if you're into actually creating some kind of stylized edges of course this is definitely going to be for you and still speaking about the caps and bevel the caps and bevel are also you know integrated with the lat the loft and also the sweep there is also a brand new volume builder and volume mesher the uv editor now has a couple of updates and you know there's an enhancement that's coming over to these now the materials now also have some love so just in case you don't know you could actually make use of node directly in you know cinema 4d and now there is an improvement with the node interface there's also a physical render node that has also been added to this the pro render is also updated so just in case you know you want to work with the pro render and remember not so long ago we covered the news where we talked about magzon owning redshift so redshift like i said earlier is also going to be coming with cinema 4d r21 as a bundle just in case you want to go ahead and purchase it now there is also something really cool Cool, which I kind of like that I'm seeing in you know cinema 4d that I would really really love to go around and play with now you can easily right now you can easily mix and match different motion capture animations by using the Adobe Mixamo control rig now I don't know if there is also a custom rig that will be attached to this or if it's just the control rig that comes with Mixamo I would definitely have to test this one out and you know get back to you guys and tell you guys how this works there's also a force field that exists now so just in case you want to do all of those dynamic simulations or let's say you want to also you know play with different vector volumes yes of course you can go ahead and try this out now there's one significant thing that you would notice the ui icon seems to be you know a little bit reworked looking at them there is now a couple of new ui icons that you would definitely see there's also a brand new algorithm that is going to be used for weight painting you know just in case you know you want to do character animations there is now an improved auto weighting algorithm which is actually known as bone glow the weighting workflow has also been improved and from the blog here we can see that the ceo david 
McGavin has also gone ahead to say that with R21 available, we have overhauled virtually every aspect of how our customer chooses download, purchase, license, and manage Cinema 4D. The availability of a unified version of Cinema 4D will allow us to focus on developing one amazing 3D solution, very attractive subscription pricing options ensure users around the world can easily assess the most up-to-date 3d technology this is really really cool to see that first of all you know they've put all these things together instead of you know getting broadcast getting visualization getting studio and all that you can just get one pack that gets to solve all your needs it's been a long time coming and i think this is really 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 cool for them to you know go ahead and and take a look at and it's also safe to say that this is not going to be available anytime soon so cinema 4d release 21 would be shipping early september 2019 so just in case you want to get your hands on it you definitely need to come over to the link which i'm going to put in the description so you can be notified at the point when this is going to be available remember you can have this i think about 14 days trial which you can use it and you know if you want to purchase the tool you can go ahead and purchase the tool at that point but up until then all right so up until then you may just you know simply use the r20 that exists and so i'll put links to all these in the description so you guys can go ahead and check these things out so do you work with cinema 4d are you into redshift are you using MoGraph? what do you guys think about the whole subscription thing in as much as i'm going to say i love the updates uh it's also cool to you know note that the updates was not just based on one particular section alone so modeling animation rendering the entire ui the workflow that has to do with uvs and you know simulation was all touched within this time that they're making these new updates and it's also cool to say that it's very impressive to see the kind of updates that we're getting from the guys at Maxon. tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on notification and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with an update tutorial free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace